Hey there, YouTube anglers. You know, if you watch any of my past videos, that I absolutely love kokanee fishing. And one of the most critical components to kokanee tackle is some sort of an attractor. Almost everybody runs an attractor when trolling for kokanee. And these are comprised of two primary types. One is what we call lake trolls, which are a series of spitting blades, which create a lot of flash, a lot of vibration. And then typically you'll follow these up with your lure. In this case, I'm using a small pink spinner. And the other most frequently seen is a dodger, which is usually some sort of tier or skate, skateboard shaped uh, piece of metal with tape on it that dodges from side to side, creates action and creates flash to attract kokanee to the lure behind it. Now, I've always been a big fan of dodgers because they're lightweight, they add a ton of action, and uh, they're just, to me, a little bit more productive than lake trolls. But maybe I haven't given lake trolls their fair shake. One of the problems I've had with lake trolls is a lot of them are very long, they put out a ton of drag, it makes it very hard to do, detect the bite sometimes, it makes it easier for the fish to leverage uh, the hook off, and I feel like they don't add as much action side to side. So they definitely put out a lot of signal, but they don't add a lot of action to the lure. So today I thought I'd pit these two against each other in a tournament style. And what I'm gonna do is I have here a Cousin Carl's uh, flasher. Uh, this is a Lake Troll from uh, Pulse and Cascade Tackle. This is a Silver Moon Jelly. I also have an Arrow Flash Dodger from Pulse and Cascade Tackle in the exact same metallic silver and moon jelly tape pattern. So what I'm going to do is run these at the exact same depth, at the exact same speeds. Um, I even have the exact same spinner with the exact same leader length on each of them. And let's just see which one comes out on top today. Best out of 10 fish uh, in terms of kokanee to the boat, but we'll also keep track of bites as we go along here uh, just to see which one gets more action. All right, well, let's get started. Oop, there's a bite already on the dodger. There's fish. Ah, uh, lost him. That's two bites. Oop, there's fish on the lake troll though. Zero for two on the dodger and we got one on the lake troll here. Let's see what we got. Uh-oh, hung it up. They're a little deeper than I expected them to be today. I might have to put on additional lead. A lot of people have asked me what kokanee look like on the graph, and you can see here, there's probably one or two fish there. Catching some fish on the edge of the cone. Here's quite a number of fish down here at 60 feet. So that's what they'll show up like. If there's a dense school, it'll be more of a darker blob, but just this is pretty typical scattered marks of kokanee. Oop, there's fish. Oop. There we go. Come on, buddy. All right. That's one for the Dodger. First fish on the lake troll. Oh, I lost him. Fish. Yep, there's fish on the Dodger. Got him. Nice. There's fish. On the turn, on the dodger. Keep that rod tip down, keep them in the water. For the last minute, there we go. Got him. There we go. 
Well, that's five for the Dodgers, so the Lake Troll's going to have to rally pretty hard to come out on top right now. Oh, there's fish on the Lake Troll. There we go. All right, maybe the Lake Troll's going to try and rally here. That's two for the Lake Troll, five for the Dodger. Here we go, that's number six. For the... Oh, there we go. That's fish. All right. That's number seven for the Dodger. That completes my 10 fish limit for the day. Eight of those were caught on the Dodger and only two on the Lake Troll. I only had one missed bite on the Lake Troll, so it was fairly high success. If it did hook up, I generally landed them. Um, I missed five other strikes on the Dodger, but still, the Dodger just got a lot more attention and brought more fish to the boat. So there's today's haul. We got two on the Lake Troll, Moon Jelly. And then we got eight on the Moon Jelly Dodger. Both of them had the same spinner on right here. It's just this little micro flash pink spinner. Just a few beads and a very tiny Colorado blade tipped with some corn. Did the results come out like you expected them? Did you expect the Lake Troll to win or did you have confidence in the Dodger from the get go? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. I'll see you guys next time out on the water. Bye.